Welcome to another video. We're gonna discuss rendering in Katia V5. So I already created a video regarding graphic properties compared to material in Katia. And I also created the Panton chair case study within, within Keyshot for rendering. So if you like rendering, I highly recommend that you're gonna check that video regarding Keyshot. So let's see, how is the rendering within Katia? I will use the same case study, so the Panton chair. I will drag and drop that within Katia and the file should be imported. Okay, so we have the chair loaded over here. Now for the re rendering aspects within Katia, we have at the bottom Photo Studio Easy Tool. So this is the simplified version for rendering. As you can see, this is available over here within the Imagine and Shape workbench, but it is also available in other workbenches such as the popular part design. I'm going to click on that Photo Studio and we're going to see that within Katia we're going to have a ground plane with a grid that will indicate our ground plane. So we know that the chair needs to be rotated. So before going within the rendering, I'm going to select the geometry of the chair. Since this is a step file, I will select all the geometry named over here as none. I will make use of the compass, make it snap automatically, and I will reselect the object. And afterwards, I will add 90 degrees on the X axis. So Katia will update the final position. And now if I will drag and drop the compass, the orientation will be correct. That means we're going to have the Z axis horizontal. So this is different from solidors or Keyshot, which have the Y axis for the vertical. So go back to the rendering. And you're going to see that now the chair will be properly aligned. I will also add a material for the chair because currently this only has the color, which is red from the step file. As we can see over here, if I will select the none, I will see that within the color swatch, we have the possibility to add a color. And that is the color that um, has been attached. I'm going to use the DS red material. So I'm going to drag and drop that material over here. And within the viewport, since I am within shaded with material, the color automatically was replaced with material. If for some reason you are still having the color from the graphic properties active, keep in mind that you need to swap the shading. So it shouldn't be with edges or uh, with shading simple or without smooth edges. You need to be within shading with materials to visualize that. Now, regarding the settings within this Photo Studio Easy Tools, the first is for the scene. As we can see, select the scene. We're going to have the possibility to use some predefined scenes. So this is basically just a backplate. This is not a high dynamic range image like the one available within Keyshot. Let me just open this video a little bit. better highlight that so as we can see over here we had the possibility to add an HDRI image and uh, we can also choose them from over here within the environment but we can make use of various free to use HDRI images some of them are available on polyhaven so this will be the website Within the assets, we're going to have the possibility to have access to HDRI images. So keep in mind that within Katia, everything that is over here is basically just an image. So there is no 360 mapping or uh, any additional lighting information within those. So for example, I would like to position this chair. Let's find the backplay that will match this. I will put this dining room and now uh, again we have that perspective matching that we can do 
Over here, it is important to align the bottom plane with that existing plane and afterwards just the size of the chair. So let's say that the size should be something like, like this. And after we selected the scene, we're going to see that this scene properties will close. But you also have the possibility to go to custom. So within favorite, you can add some of them as your favorite. For example, the dining room, I will click on that button. We can give it a name. And afterwards, that will appear over here. Also, if you want to use some custom environments, you can also do that so we can change that photo you're gonna see exactly how we can do that so jump back to the custom and over here you're gonna have the possibility to adjust the lighting so we see that the first option will be no light you're gonna see that the model will not be lit we can apply one light source and afterwards we can move that around and we're gonna see how the specularity will change onto our object we can also increase the ambient lighting or we can add two lights source over here and again we have the possibility to change those lighting locations we can also change the diffuse so as you can see by increasing the diffuse or by lowering this we can also add additional light to the scene Afterwards, we're going to have the specular slider. So by default, this is set to 0 0.3. If I'm going to increase this, we're going to see that the specular will be higher in this case. And the last one will be the shadow softness regarding the shadow casted within the render. Now, I will also hit the render button over here. We see the size. This will be exactly the size of the view viewport. So this is similar to Keyshot. We can also change that, but I'm just going to click on render to see the, the shadow. So we see the rendering has started. The computing time um, is estimated over there, but one of the drawbacks within Katia rendering. So this is, let's say, quite an old workbench with the rendering and it hasn't been improved, even though I'm using Katia 2017. All the settings over here and um, let's say the, the properties are from older versions like um, Katia V5 version 21 which was released in 2010 and that is also one of the, um, the first versions that I used back, back then 2009-2010. So we see that rendering slowly computing. We also have that reflection on the floor. And we also have that shadow. So as you can see, we have that small shadow over there since we have the lighting position over here. I will stop this. And if you're going to check the shadow will, um, will be like that. So this is quite okay-ish. Also, the other chairs and tables will have a, let's say, a reflection. So we can also have that onto the floor. Now, if you want to change the image, which is loaded over here, you have the possibility to browse for an image over here. And um, you can download any image on the web, edit over here. It's important that the file format should be a JPEG file format or a PNG file format. The others are not that, let's say, recommended. Usually bitmaps are not compressed. TIFF files as well, so those will be larger in size. So it's usually a good uh, practice to use um, PNGs or JPEG files. Okay, also for the ground, we have the possibility to change the reflectivity. So if I'm gonna go all the way to one, we're gonna have higher values regarding that reflection let me redo this but i won't redo everything i'm gonna go with this define render area and for example uh, i'm curious within that reflection of the chair so i'm gonna draw, draw a rectangle over here 
and afterwards click on render and now the render will be done only over there so we can visualize that faster so we see the slider has been set all the way to one that means that the chair will be mirrored within uh, that that as a reflection so this will act uh, like um, like a mirror and we're gonna see that that area will be reflected and mirrored if you don't want you can uh, add something really small like 0 0.2 and uh, i will redo that so let me drag that again re-render that with a value of 0 0.2 and you're gonna see we're gonna have some um, reflections over there in this case with 0 0.2 those are quite subtle and we see the CPU is currently rendering those areas but over here within uh, the, um, the wooden floor we will barely see any any elements so we can again have those adjusted I'm gonna go with a higher value 0 0.8 re-render that really fast and as we can see that will appear over here on the hard floor okay let's see some other changes within um, within this that we can adjust we can also change the transparency of the ground so if i'm all gonna go all the way to 100 percent that will be like this so let's check that re-render and it's important on the model we're gonna see that that plane won't be let's say visible within our scene also by increasing that we won't have any shadows because that plane will be invisible so over here within the scene we discussed all the elements so i'm gonna go forward we also have rendering options so this will increase the let's say the, the quality of the render if i'm gonna go over here to high we can also decide for a resolution currently set to screen but we can also go for um, dots per inch in this case pixels per inch for example 300 and uh, within the last button we can do the render or we can cancel that and if i'm gonna click again on render that should give us that render of the scene so this will recreate the whole render for the whole screen okay i see that this video is only 30 minutes long while this is rendering i'm gonna go over here and um, i highly recommend that you check keyshot because this it's let's say the best um, and the easiest software to use it's not free so i will also make a version with blender since that is free but keyshot does a great job at, uh, at rendering one more aspect that i want to discuss over here because if you also check my keyshot video you saw how easily we selected the object and we had that uh, duplicated and uh, positioned within a pattern for example over here at the end we put the, the chair rotated on the ground and we had it within a circular array in order to have uh, six of those just like within the, the reference so over here in Katia if I want to duplicate this model I have two possibilities one of those would be to go to an assembly and insert this existing part as a sub element of that assembly and have that later patterned but if you don't want to do that you can stick within part design and we can multiply directly over here for example i can uh, select this non-geometry i can copy that so ctrl c and i can paste that and we're gonna see that we're gonna have automatically generated a new body and within the new body we're gonna have a new chair and that new chair we can uh, rotate where we 
desired so i'm gonna go with that rotation let me see if i that should be a grabbable okay it's just a little bit lagging but we can have that rotated and multiplied keep in mind that the newer part this won't have the material added if you want you can copy paste this material and paste over here or you can just make use of another one in this case i will use the dasal system light blue and we're gonna see that that will be the appearance of that chair again if i want to multiply this again ctrl c ctrl v a new chair will be positioned directly where we had the last one generated and i'm just gonna slightly move this over here as well and um, i will add the ds black color for that and i'm gonna put the compass over there like i talked within um, my other video regarding the difference between color and appearance in katia you can also change some visual aspects regarding the material you can go over here you can go to properties on the material and we're gonna see that we have the rendering aspect so these are really important when you are dealing with renders but uh, there are also some other aspects like for example for analysis if you add the material that material will have properties as we can see in this case this will be will act as a isotropic material this is the density so this is the density of uh, of steel but if i'm gonna change the material to something like uh, plastic we're also gonna have that change so let's take a look at that i will go over here to other because the plastic will be over here i'm gonna add that plastic material and if i'm gonna go to properties we're gonna see that now this will have the density of uh, of the plastic and it will also have uh, the other structural properties so if you are working with analysis it's also important to define the material properly but if you are mostly on rendering then you don't need to let's say deal with this uh, analysis it's mostly regarding rendering okay so if you find this video useful i will also position a similar video over here and i will position a subscribe button to the right so thanks for watching see you in the next video